Let's try out three new samples. Probably the shortest intro I've ever done. My name is Jano, you're watching CX Sense. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I have three samples right here. We have Mugler Pure Malt. We have Parfums de Mali Leighton. And we have Mercedes Club Black. I originally just wanted to test Club Black because I'm not sure, I'm still not sure to, if I should get a full bottle or not. And these two, man, I just saw them and I wanted to see what it's about. Like, Parfums de Mali Leighton is something that everyone in this community should try, at least what I've heard of. And I thought to myself, if it's a must try, I must try it. So I picked this up and Pure Malt is a fragrance everyone is raving about and I just wanted to see if I like it or not. And I wanted to start with this. This is a boozy fragrance. Let's spray it on right here. Oh yeah, ooh. It's, it's really nice in the air though. It's sweeter than I thought. It's a bit creamy as well. Like I get like a boozy sandalwood vanilla type of vibe from this. Um, it, this seems like to me a fragrance that will last you all day. It smells like a gentleman though. But I'll be honest right now from the opening I wouldn't spend the discontinued money that they are asking for uh, right now in, on the internet. Um, but I like it though. But let's keep going. Um, next up we have Club Black. Right. Here. Oh, okay, that's a different vanilla. Hmm, it's kinda a sweeter version of this right here. Mustache EDP is uh, inspired by YSL Tuxedo fragrance. It smells so good, but this isn't as sweet as this. This is a much more sweet vanilla. This is creamy, sweet, and it comes across to me like an evening type of fragrance that you wear when you go out somewhere. Like it doesn't even have to be a relaxed occasion that you go to. This could work in a club, for example. This could work on in a bar. This could work when you're like having a kickback with your friends, like sitting somewhere, enjoying yourself, talking to each other. It's nice. It's really nice. It's vanilla heavy. It's a sweet fragrance. And I get why it's hyped. But as of now, as of the opening, I don't get why it's that crazily hyped. Because there's a lot of ways to smell like this. You don't need to buy this. People say this is re really long lasting. I have no idea. Um, I will test it and show it to you guys on my Instagram which you can find under this handle or the link down below so make sure you're subscribed subscribed you follow me on Instagram now the one that I'm most intrigued about Parfums de Mali Leighton let's spray it on right here oh that's a sour apple like green sour apple it's green apple oh that's nice I usually don't like heavy green fragrances but this one is nice. This one's really good. You get a fresh apple vibe and it feels like, yeah, this is definitely an everyday fragrance. Like, if I have to, you can wear this anytime, any year. Any year, I mean year round, you get what I mean. I expected something deeper than this. Wow, I, I really enjoy this. How much is a bottle? I'm going to let this dry down a bit and then come back to you and tell you guys more about these three. Why did I make this moves from All right, so it's been a couple of minutes. Um, and I have to say, pure malt is becoming more leathery and I like it more than in the opening. It's like a gentleman's fragrance and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Is it worth the discontinued money? I, I don't think so. Club Black, it's turning more into a youthful version of mustache EDP. Layton. It's, it's turning spicier, the apple is not so fresh, the freshness is going away. Leighton is amazing. I get the hype around Leighton. Leighton is a really good fragrance and definitely worth owning. I might need to look up how much a bottle is. This one you can wear year round, you can wear it to any occasion, you can wear it in a formal event, you can wear it to work. This is just perfect, it's projecting nicely. It smells so good in the air and wow. So if I have to rate these fragrances, Pure Malt will get uh, a 6 out of 10 for me, as I like to dry them more. 
than uh, the opening. Club Black, it's a 5 out of 10 for me. It's generic. It's like, it's nice quality. It's a nice quality vanilla fragrance, but they're better alternatives in my opinion. And Layton is the winner of this video, if you couldn't tell by now. That's definitely an 8.5 out of 10. So that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Jeno, you've been fantastic as always. See you in the next video. Goodbye.